system is a blind, unplanned system. One of the things that Marx explained 150 years ago is that it's a system that's driven, in essence, by the need to make profits, by the bottom line. And those profits, when it comes down to it, come from the exploitation of the working class. And when we met last year, in Britain, there'd been plenty of profits, up until literally weeks before we met. There'd been 16 years of uninterrupted growth. And our party was almost a lone voice saying this cannot go on forever. Capitalism is a cyclical system. It always has periods of crisis. But in addition to that, the nature of the growth we had over those 16 years, which was largely fueled by huge bubbles in the stock markets, in house prices, by personal indebtedness. I mean, even now, a year after the crisis began, the debt overhang in Britain, individual consumers, what we owe, is £1.5 trillion. Pounds, an enormous amount of money. So we kept the economy going by running up debts on our credit cards, by remortgaging our houses, and all of the rest of it. And we warned that it couldn't continue to forever, and the nature of the growth that had gone before meant that when crisis came, then that crisis would be severe and prolonged. But for the capitalists, as long as they were making profits, they didn't care. There was the odd commentator who might say, oh, maybe it won't last forever. But in general, they believed all the rubbish, which was put at its most crudely by Gordon Brown himself, who used to say that he personally had abolished boom and bust, that capitalism would never have another crisis again. So at the time when we met last year, reality had come crashing down on the spokespeople and the representatives of world capitalism. Literally, they were in shock at the scale of the crisis. And I don't know how many of you have watched some of the TV programmes about it, the different dramatisations of the collapse of Lehman Brothers in the US, what went on in the stock markets and all the rest of it. But it confirms everything we discussed at the time. They were standing on the edge of an abyss. They were watching their world spiral out of control. It came to the point in Britain where they were hours away from you not being able to draw money out of the cash machines. And they had to step in and part nationalise the banks. Otherwise, literally, you would have had people, not just with Northern Rock, but every bank, queuing up in panic because they weren't able to get access to their monies.